Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Epoxy and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Mod Organizer for Skyrim, Fallout 3, Oblivion, or Fallout New Vegas. And it's actually pretty simple so I'm going to be running you guys through the process but it is a little bit complicated if you've never done it before. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this very quickly. So let's go ahead and just click the link down in the description below to download the actual mod manager or mod organizer it's going to be on the skyrim nexus but this version works for either fallout 3 fallout new vegas skyrim or oblivion and it's simply on the skyrim nexus to be updated every so often so anyways let's go ahead and go to files and then we will see two different main files here we can see the mod organizer version 1.3.11 and then we can also see the installer version of that. We're going to be running the installer version simply because it's a lot easier to do. And if you don't know what you're doing, and even if you do know what you're doing, you should be downloading it this way anyway, just because it's a lot easier and it makes sure that everything is set up correctly. So let's go ahead and download this and then let's go ahead and install it. I'm going to be personally installing it for Skyrim, but this is the same setup process for all of the different games. This currently works for Fallout 3. Fallout New Vegas, Skyrim, and Oblivion. I'm not sure whether they're planning on making it work with Fallout 4 when it comes out, but I guess we'll find out. So anyways, we now have it downloaded. Let's go ahead and go to our Downloads tab, so we can actually do that by just simply going to our Show and Folder. And then right here, we have the installer right here. Let's go ahead and just open that up, and we can see Welcome to Mod Organizer version 1.3.11 setup. We can go ahead and just click Next. If you want to read this stuff, go ahead but uh, you can just go ahead and just continue on. Now on this page, what you want to do is scroll down and click Handle Nexus Links. And the reason for this is because it will make it so that when you click Download with Manager on the Nexus mods, it will actually download through Mod Organizer rather than Nexus Mod Manager. So if you don't have Nexus Mod Manager installed, then you're going to want to go ahead and check this. And if you do have it installed, but you want to be using Mod Organizer instead, you're going to have to check this as well. So anyways, let's go ahead and go Next. And now, here's where a lot of people get confused. So, for here, what you need to do is actually choose where the game is that you want to install it for. So whether it's Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Skyrim, or Oblivion, you want to choose the directory for that game. So let's go ahead and click Browse. And then I personally have mine in the default location of this PC, and then in my local disk, and then Program Files 86. Let's find Steam. Open up Steam, we can find Steam apps, go into Common, and then we can see that I have Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition, Fallout New Vegas, Skyrim, and I'm not sure where Oblivion is, I guess I uninstalled it, but anyways, let's go ahead and click on Skyrim, because that is what I'm going to be installing it in. However, if you were installing for Fallout 3, you click on Fallout 3, if you're installing for Fallout New Vegas, you click on Fallout New Vegas, but I'm installing for Skyrim, so let's go ahead and click Skyrim and hit OK. And then we can go ahead and see that it will create a mod organizer folder within the Skyrim directory. Let's go ahead and hit install. And it will quickly install all the files that are needed inside of that folder. Alright, so once it's done, it will show you this page right here. And we can go ahead and just make sure that we run mod organizer version 1.3.11. Click finish. You can go ahead and minimize this stuff now. Or close it, it doesn't really matter. And then we can see that it's going to give us the message of the day. It's going to pop us up this uh, little question whether you want to show the tutorial or not. This is totally up to you. You can go through this tutorial if you want. It's pretty basic. Uh, nothing really that difficult to go through. So I suggest if you're a brand new to modding, I suggest actually checking this out. But if you know what you're doing and you've used Nexus Mod Manager before, you don't really need to worry about this. So let's go ahead and click no. And then bam, now we have Mod Organizer installed. And we can actually make a shortcut wherever we want. But I'm going to be showing you guys quickly where it is downloaded and all the files and everything that are there. So let's go ahead and open up our directories here. Let's go into local disk. Program files 86. Let's go into Steam. Steam apps. I know you can do this through Steam, but this is the easier way for me. Let's go into Skyrim. And we can see Mod Organizer. We have a folder here now. And then we can see all these different files. And this is where stuff is going to be. This is going to be where your downloads are. And if you keep your downloads there, they're going to stay in there. And then we can see that we have just a ton of different things. We have the mods here. And they're basically, for with Mod Organizer, they're going to be installing it in, into different folders for each mod. So I personally really like Mod Organizer. I definitely prefer it over top of Nexus Mod Manager. 
It totally depends on whether they add new features to Nexus Mod Manager later on, but this is my personal preference of Mod Manager. And I definitely do think that you guys will enjoy using this thing. So if you want to create a desktop shortcut, you can go to this directory, click on the Mod Organizer Executable, right click, and go to Send to Desktop. And then bam, we have a shortcut, and we can right click, rename it to Skyrim MO. We can go ahead and put it beside our Skyrim. And there we go. We now have Mod Organizer installed for Skyrim, and we can go ahead and install mods for Skyrim. But anyways, guys, hopefully this video did help you out. It's the same installation for Oblivion, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 3 as well. So hopefully this video does help you guys out. But anyways, guys, that's actually it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fight. It would be super greatly appreciated. But until next time, this is Epoxy signing off. On the way down, screaming.